Pixels. So last month we took a look at the Google Pixel 3, and as with each prior device, it was certainly impressive and boasted some great features. Of course, with time comes clarity, and it seems that the Pixel 3 has hit a few snags, audio being the major one. More specifically, audio through the microphone. When recording video, the audio playback would crackle and suffer low quality, and as well as this, it wasn't uncommon for Pixel users to cut out during a call. Fortunately, this wasn't an issue directly with the microphone. It was a software bug. Now I'm not sure of the ins and outs, but the benefit of this not being a hardware issue is that repairs or replacements aren't necessary. Bugs can be patched, and it seems that that is already the case. Google released the Pixel 3's first patch, which addresses this issue directly. So why bother bringing it up here? Well, the reason is because I still maintain that the Pixel 3 is an impressive device, however problems like this can cripple a device if they aren't addressed. Fortunately, Google was quick to act, meaning that I can once again go back to recommending the Pixel 3. Now you might not be familiar with the brand Oppo. Oppo? 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 However, you probably are familiar with OnePlus. So the two share ownership and supply chain licenses, but more importantly, Oppo, Oppo, have announced that they will start selling phones in the UK this month, with the RX17 being their launch model. Now, Oppo, Oppo, have boasted some impressive and popular devices over the years, so it's great to see them expanding to the UK. Competition is always good, and if Oppo, Oppo, can provide high-end phones for competitive prices, it will be interesting to see what the results are. Though I'm not suddenly expecting Samsung and Apple to suddenly cut their prices in half, but you see where I'm coming from. And finally, the Honor Magic 2 is an interesting one. Remember sliding phones? This one slides, albeit not to the extent of phones in the mid-2000s, but even so. The recent trend with phones to maximise screen space is to confine the camera and speaker to a small notch at the top. Not the most consistently elegant solution, but it does free up more of the screen without sacrificing those features. The Magic 2 just sidesteps this issue entirely, having the camera and speaker on the rear half, which slides upwards. And there are hard stops too, which is good, meaning that it can only be fully up or down, with no loose sliding around. So, with the camera and speaker being confined to the back means that the entire front is given to the 6.4 inch AMOLED screen, and hardly a bezel in sight. The Honor Magic 2 is made so much more appealing just by having a slider. It's a feature that I would have thought to be antiquated, but with the push to free up screen space now it makes more sense than ever. If you're buying or selling, whether that be films, games, tech or phones, don't forget to check out the website at webuy.com.